Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another gameplay and today we are going to play Full Burst Lissandra with best build and rules focus on one shot and playing against Yona. I'm also gonna provide some tips for her. So let's queue through. The range is a bit better when you queue through something. So try for your RB. And then we get closer, we just queue. That way you both clear and poke. It's especially important because Lissandra can go into mana issues early game. Let's take W. That's gonna be electric proc. So we do short trades. No need to do crazy stuff. Yeah, don't forget about autos too. Okay, he has teleport, not ignite. This world has forgotten. Now E. Well, when you press E, the cloud deals damage through, and when you recast, you appear in the same location where the cloud is currently. Oh, I wish I ignited him. Oh, well, that works too. Yeah, I should have ignited him faster. I just thought he would return earlier. Alright. Nice start. We go in Malignance first. Let's see like this. Now, you could always juke your enemies. Like when you launch the sea, you can go to some other direction, pretending like you're gonna escape here and you just recast. This can often outplay your enemies. Here I could have kept my W for the route against him, but I think I was too far away anyway. And I recommend taking Isandra against melee champions. She might struggle and against something like Lux with long range at least early game, until you're gonna have enough damage to just burst out. E itself deals damage too. You can use it for the wave cure, but usually it's better to keep it because we could get ganked for something. Oh wow, I thought I would finish him off. I forgot about his shield. I should have waited for my auto bet. I'm halfway there. Okay, happens. So once more short trade. Okay, great. He took damage from E and I avoided his trade. Uh, it's a good idea to just hold him. Okay, so this was the passive. They cannot fight the cold. At least I survived. So whenever an enemy champion dies while being near you, the champion turns into frozen zombie 
which goes towards living enemies and after 4 seconds it explodes. If it touches enemies, it also slows them by 25%. Nice, we didn't get an assist from their skill. And it explodes after 4 seconds dealing magic damage. And as for ultimate, it's a point click ability. If you use it against the enemy, it stuns. And if you use it on yourself, it makes you invulnerable and unforgettable. And you also start to heal. The healing skills of AP. Except for that, enemies around take damage in both cases. When you use ultimate aggressively and when defensively. Since W is a root and ultimate is a stun, it's worth not casting that immediately unless you're going for burst. If you wanna put your RB for longer in one place, it's better to W first and then out, or wait after out and W. I got the red buff. Oh, the flash. Oops. Wasn't in range. This is but a battle. Yeah, the range is not so amazing. Alright, let's get this item. It's great for Lissandra because it reduces ultimate cooldown drastically. Also reduces magic resist. Great for team fights. I never rest. And of course grants a lot of mana, so having this item we don't need any more mana items. We've got much better wave pill now after building this item. I still have electrocute, and I know things are always on that side. This time I could just wait for ultimate instead of rushing. It depends, I let him waste his Q. See that passive is walking towards the closest minion wave if there are no enemies, like champions. This also helps for the push, because you can push the wave and return back to base. Now we need some extra speed, so magic pen boots. Q slows too, and the slow increases the rank of this ability or oh, so low HP. Usually I gank while having the lane pushed. I think they bugged. Oh, he attacked me in that threat rage. Okay, great. I ignited just to be sure we had to kill him immediately. Because if you let Yona survive, he can deal a lot of damage, even when behind. He already has attack speed boots, so that's enough for Yona. I'm gonna push this wave. No danger now, so I can use my E to push. A 
And next we get in Storm Surge. We want one shot, of course. And the root duration also scales with rank, so this champion scales for late game nicely. Oh, nice synergy. Only throat. Lissandra works best when your allies have CC2, so Seraphin is a good combo. I'm gonna give an example of defensive vault. I also get health back, so I'd say it's good. Oh, nice. Well, it's on after all. Seems quite strong despite being behind. One more plate. Storm Surge into Shadow Flame. Plans within plans. An ally has been slain. You might be surprised about the burst now. Shall we test that on Yona? Okay, I don't have my E now, but soon I will. I had visionary way. Oh. Yeah, Lux counters me a bit if I'm not able to reach. I used to back C in the past because the cooldown decreases and it makes you able to engage more often, but W damage is more important, I think. Worth it? Yes. Okay, was she writing something? They cannot fight the call. Dominating. I don't have my ult, so I don't want to engage. You can make aggressive auto bets more often once you get an hourglass. But currently, I'm just going for straight damage.
Look at that clear with just single Q. Exploded. If you know that the RB will stay in one place because of CC, you can of course out yourself if you're low HP. It depends who you're fighting. Okay, I'm gonna get gold from this wave. I would say that Zandra is underrated, but way stronger against melee champions. Okay, that's enough. But Gragas is so tanky for the wages. Alright, let's deal with speed pushing Zinzao. So he's on that camp. I'm gonna give him a warm surprise. Or should I say cold surprise? Look, I'm just gonna out myself, let's heal. As soon as I do that he's gonna stay in that place, why not? Sandra is also great for split pushing. If you don't have clean potential on the lane, you can play her without Ignite and just take teleport. I really like Ignite on her as it helps in getting fat early. Drop damage. I still have Storm Surge. This time it was enough to dive them. And they surrendered. Alright, so thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. And I hope that these tips on how to play this Andrew mid helped you. If you enjoyed, you can like and subscribe. It's a lot of damage, imagine late game. That's it, thanks for watching and see you next time.